Okay, in this lesson we will be going over steep turns. A steep turn is considered any turn with an angle of bank over 30 degrees. These turns are typically used as a safety maneuver, whether it be that you need to avoid a collision with an aircraft or an object. You will be tested on and we will be practicing the steep turn at 45 degrees angle of bank and doing 300 degree turnaround. Note that on your commercial exam you will do two 180 degree steep turns. So, we're going to start off, we're level at 5,000 feet. It's time to do a good lookout and a radio call to other traffic. We don't have to turn to do this lookout, but it's really important that everybody on board looks to left, right, up, down, gets a really good scan done. Might give a radio call just to let anybody in the practice area know where we are. West practice area traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Echo Foxtrot Juliet is at 5,000 feet in the south part of the West practice area. Any conflicting, please advise Golf Echo Foxtrot Juliet. So before we get started, it's really important that we're level at an altitude we find safe and trimmed. So we've picked 5,000, so we're setting ourselves up for 5,000 feet, trimming the aircraft out. As we do that, we're going to pick a reference point straight ahead. So for us, we have Lake Wabaman and the West, highway. West practice area traffic, this is Golf Echo Foxtrot Kilo over beach corner, about 4,500 feet. We're going to work the northeast quadrant of the west practice area. There's some traffic coming to the practice area. We'll communicate with them to make sure they know we're away from them. This practice area traffic, uh, this is Echo Foxtrot Juliet in the south end. That works well for us. Okay, so now we've picked our reference point, we've also set it up on our heading indicator, and we have our heading bug set, so about 260. Now that we're ready, it's time to do our turn. So we're going to do a steep turn to the left. We're going to go 360 degrees around. Remember that as we start into the turn, we're going to do it nice and smoothly and fairly quick, but not too aggressively. So whenever we're ready, we're going to start the turn rolling around a point. Think of it as rolling around the heading indicator. Correction, the magnetic compass. As we roll through 30 degrees, we're going to add a little bit of power and some back pressure. There's 45 degrees and we're coordinated. We're looking outside, looking for this, we're trying to maintain it. Come inside, check our altitude. Back outside, holding the same picture. Inside, 45 degrees. Back outside. Inside, still around our 100 knots. Back outside. Inside, altitude still at 5,000. Back outside. Now, into our peripheral vision is coming our rollout point. So it's time to start rolling out smoothly and taking that power back through 30 degrees. We have to add a little bit of forward pressure to make sure that we don't gain any altitude. Here we are. We're back lined up on our section line. Heading indicator is good. We're at 5,000 feet and nice and coordinated. If we want, we could retrim and do some level off checks with leaning the mixture. seen how to enter and maintain and to roll out of the steep turn. These turns are used on all levels of flight tests and may require some practice.